Today I'm going to make a video of me making a rug. So this is only the second rug that I've ever made. Yesterday I just rushed out, bought some wool to try it out and uh, didn't do a bad job with it. But today I want to show you how I do the process from start to finish, including um, what this is and what it does and how it's really helpful. What I'm going to be making a rug onto is this stuff, which is Hessian. Or for those of you that are old enough like me, um, it looks like potato sack or coal sack. It's not the best stuff in the world. There are better backings than this. They're more expensive. I am waiting for something to arrive from Malaysia. But bought this one uh, cheaply and quickly because I just wanted to try out the tufting gun. I begin with hooking up this hessian, starting from the top. Watch your fingers on these nails on the carpet gripper because it's not quite painful. In fact, in fact, I've been using one of these which is just a scrubbing brush but kind of great for pressing down the hessian without having to get my fingers caught on it so I've got it all tacked in at the top and now I am I can see where I want to cut it, so I'll just cut that for now, which will make it easier to stretch it. There you go. You can see that is quite tight now. And I caught my fingers on the carpet gripper. That's what that is as well from yesterday. So in order to get an image on here, you've got a couple of ways. You can either find a picture of something and draw it freehand with a felt tip and work off of that. But if you're not a good drawer, the next best way is to get yourself a little projector. I've just bought this one off of eBay. It was only 40 pound. It's very, very basic, not the most powerful of things, meaning that the light behind here isn't as powerful as it would be if you paid 100 quid or 500 quid. The only disadvantage of this one is that I've got to work in pretty dark conditions in order to project my image onto my canvas. Other than that, it's fine. For 40 quid, I'm more than happy with what it does. Simple to use, just simply plug or download your image onto a USB stick, plug it in there and uh, put it on a tripod, focus it and draw around it. So as you can see here, the projector doesn't do too bad a job when you've got enough darkness in a room. And this is what I'm planning on making a rug out of. Oh, the next step with this is once I've got this, while I've got this on here, I'll get my thick felt pen out and draw all the lines out. And then I can turn the lights back on and start stitching. It's as simple as that. I bought myself some cheap felt tip pens from the pound shop for this purpose. The one thing you need to remember when you're doing this, in this particular case it doesn't matter, but if you were doing writing, it has to be inverted or made into a mirror image because we're tufting from this side, but the actual carpet is on the other side. So here's the finished design. Printed off a colour image of what I'm going to be tufting. And you need this for reference because you need to know where to put what colours. That all done, there's nothing to stop me from starting to tuft, so let's begin. Threading the gun is really easy. You just grab your two lengths 
of yarn, put them through there. I haven't got a proper needle threader but I found a piece of wire which works just as well. Thread that through there. Pull that through there. And that's it. That's all there is to the threading. Now what I do is grab my yarn, thread it through the hooks and I'm literally ready to go. Last night after looking at this we had a change of heart so rather than make a square uh, Steph my daughter decided it would just be nice to have an outline of white going around the shape of that so scrap that bit almost finished it and then I ran into a problem the machine playing up and normally what happens is when you press that it's meant to stop straight away but this runs on for a little bit and there it ran on slightly but it runs on even longer than that and that's just punched a hole in the back of it. so I need to look at the machine but I can get away with it for now, but let me show you. Here's the hole. Um, about the size of a 50 pence piece. And it's so annoying because that's literally on the last bit. I can kind of control the machine um, to finish this off, but I've got to work out a way of patching that up. Now, the only way I can think of, uh, I don't know anything else, I was going to hot glue gun a piece of this fabric over the top of it and then re-stitch that bit in. So, here we go. Right. Give that five minutes a call down and I'll have a go at stitching it again. Right, I've given this five minutes to dry to cool down and it has done, it's nice and tight. I've drawn in the markings so uh, I've got a rough idea where I've got to go and let's see if this works. So here is the finished article. It's taken me hours and it's a real technical one for me, for my second rug with all these fine lines and details and curves and things like that. It was a tough one. 
that and the fact that the machine started messing me around a little bit um, made it a bit more difficult than perhaps it even should have been. Having said that, it hasn't turned out too bad at all, apart from the one episode. You can see here where I showed you there was a big hole and I glued a patch on behind it and tried to re-tuft it. Well, the tufting has come in shorter than the original tufting anyway. And besides that, the machine was then pushing the strands of hessian through, the, uh, through to the front as well. So it looks, mm, it's annoying. I'm really annoyed about it because that was the last bit before the whole thing had finished and up to that point I was doing all right. So what I'll have to do here is uh, cut back all the little bits of hessian and then I'll go over it with the sheep shearer and, and get everything to uh, one length and hopefully closer to the length of that and it'll always be there. So all in all I'm pleased with the result a little bit disappointed but overall I'm pleased because it was a hard one to do. Uh, this isn't something that I could sell if ever I was going to sell these things. It would be something that if you were selling it you'd be selling it at slightly seconds. So that's about it for this video. In another video I'll show you how I am going to finish off these rugs. I've already painted the back of this with carpet glue and I'll leave that to dry for 24 hours and then trim it all round and also I've ordered some felt for the back of the rugs that I'm making. As I said, that will all be shown to you in another video and hope to see you soon. Thank you.